location was better tonight. Uh, had a better um, better approach from the start, and uh, it was a quality group on the other side over there. So you got to come in and make good pitches and stay out of tough counts. And uh, for the most part, we did a pretty good job of that tonight. Just your thoughts on what Gallegos did and has done, as well, mm -hmm. especially with faces loaded. Yep, he loves that situation. Apparently, he comes in and just. Uh, Ice water in his veins and gets us, he's got us out of big jams all year. So um, I gave him a big hug and I could have I could have got him too though. But he did, great. he did great. He did great. <laughs> Are we making too much of this series to say that this is probably the biggest series you've had in the year and this might be the biggest win you've had in the year? So. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, obviously every series at this point in the season it's big. You know, especially when you're when you're tied at the top. But um, coming in tied with the with the team you're playing, it's a, this is a great opportunity for us to to pull away a little bit here, and so um, we just got to take it one game at a time, one inning at a time, one swing at a time, one pitch at a time, and and, and uh, make sure we execute. The third time through against the heart of their order rolls around in the sixth. Or how aware are you of that when that rolls through, and then what are you doing approach wise? It's an overrated stat, in my opinion, as long as you're making pitches. You know, if you're getting tired out there, um, if you're fatigued, then it's it's one thing. But my pitch count was low going into that inning, and uh, usually if if you get if you got a high count, third time through, second time through, it's going to be tougher. If you have long innings, we had some quick innings early in the game, which allowed us to uh, to be in a good spot in that inning. And then I just, um, you know. I, for whatever reason, my approach changed just a hair, sort of the same way it did against Pittsburgh. I just got to make sure I stay on the attack and not fall into those deeper counts. You look more like you tonight, what we've seen all season, versus those last couple of starts that were earlier. Did you make any adjustments, or what was the difference? No, my, my start in Cincinnati started out great. Um, and, uh, you know, looking back on it, honestly, I was just overheated. Got overheated, and uh, it's not an excuse. You know, it's just what happened. Um, and I just wasn't able to cool my body down. I went out there and I sort of was in a brain fog and, and they put a couple runs on me real quick. Um, last start was a, just a total approach uh, situation where I went into it. I let them change my approach instead of making uh, my approach go out there. And then, you know, you have to make adjustments on the fly sometimes. But last time I thought they were going to be ultra aggressive and they weren't. And I fell into a lot of deep counts, walked some guys early. And then by the time I, I realized it, you know, I had 83 pitches through or 86 pitches through three innings. And so uh, tonight I wanted to just make sure I attacked and made, made my pitches, stayed uh, kept the ball where I wanted to keep it, stayed out of bad counts, and um, that was what we were doing until that last inning there. How much of a game changer is it for this ball club when Goldschmidt is Goldschmidt like we've seen? Yeah. Well, that's just what, I mean, you know, I just can't stress it enough, guys. You just can't judge, you cannot judge a player based off of two months. You know, there was some of you fine gentlemen in here writing, you know, this guy was a bust and that kind of stuff, articles early on, and you just always got to look back from the last part of the year and then you can make it you know you can make your uh, conclusions on whether guys were good or not and um, as players what we have to do is we just have to stay focused we have to go out and we have to execute and we have to make good swings and we have to swing at good pitches and we have to make good pitches and we have to stay out of deep counts and we have to control what we can control but uh He's one of the best players in the game. I mean, he's been one of the best players in the game. There's no reason to think that uh, he wouldn't come around. And last year he did the same thing. He started off really slow last year, slower than this year even, and uh, ended up, you know, top 10 in the MVP like he always does and 30-plus homers and a bunch of RBIs. So everybody in this clubhouse knew it was going to happen, but we sure are glad it's happening now.